I won't lie. Walking into the unknown may seem scary. You will encounter your peaks and valleys, and then there will be ditches. Ditches that you didn't expect and those you knew were coming. But don't worry, each experience is purposeful. It is meant to shine the light on areas still needing healing, areas you are still needing to learn from because your path to becoming never ends. But when those ditches show up, remind yourself that these moments are temporary. As you learn how to navigate through the discomfort, give yourself permission to experience the moments of relief that follow. As you sway back and forth, back and forth between discomfort and relief, you will find yourself being lulled to the beat of your heart. Focus on how your body feels after you let go of all of that tension you held inside. Focus on how relaxed your body feels, for that is the moment to hold on to. This is the moment you are learning how to savor, for you will need it again in the future. Walking into the unknown takes courage, because you will be learning how to do life in a different way. And because it will be different, it will seem foreign, and sometimes you will want to turn back because you'd much rather feel what was familiar than be in a strange new place. You will want to feel whatever little bit of safety you had before. For if you have been where I have been, then you know what it feels like to not feel 100% safe, nor secure, nor stable in the many people and places that you've tried to find home in. That's okay. This journey is teaching you how to find safety and security within you, so that no matter where you go, nor whose path you cross, you will learn how to find home within you and only you. Walking into the unknown won't be easy at first, but it will be worth it. For the challenges are meant to help you find relief in the future as you reflect back on how far you've come. They will inspire hope to help you continue moving forward on your path, for you will see that you are in a much better place than you were before. It's okay to have setbacks, for the setbacks are what help to catapult you forward in a new and transformed way. Because the you that you are now is a different you than you were before. And this new you is experiencing life from a new perspective. It will require you to sway back and forth as you find your balance in this new place. For I have been on both sides and continue to sway alongside with you. The more practice you get, the better you will be at navigating your journey. For I have created a middle path for you, one to help bridge the gap between where you are and where you want to be. The smaller baby steps I've laid out for you in my courses, while still giving you flexibility to practice the power of your choice. Embrace this blueprint knowing that you are the ultimate builder of how your transformation will unfold. With this information, you will know what to expect. You will see it unfold in your own personal way and will be able to recognize it so that you don't get stuck in it for too long, for you will have the answers as to how to set yourself free and keep moving forward on your path to your new becoming. And don't worry, you are never fully alone, for even in the moments of solitude, you are always energetically connected with others and with Source. I too am available if you find yourself getting lost. I am here to shed the light and show you the many different paths you can take so that you can reclaim the power of your choice and choose again. For choosing is what you can control, and it will be what you will learn how to fine-tune moving forward. Remember that you are the one in your life, the one who is navigating your ship. For in this world we have created, whatever path you choose, you will always be where you are meant to be in that moment of time. You get to decide which way to turn, and you will have the information on how to get back if you later decide to change your mind. If you'd like to connect with me and ask your questions about how to navigate your healing journey, check out our weekly Q&A group membership options, all now held on Sundays at 11 a.m., 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. respectfully. Links are found in the description box below. My name is Yubi, and this is my Transform Truth. Thank you for watching You Becoming Healed. 
where I model and teach you how to own and transform your truth for healing. Until next time.